a very good morning to all of you welcome to stab exam forum student your written exam that is tier 1 is over and now you must be eagerly waiting for your result and after the result uh, you will have your skill test okay so in this session uh, we will see what does this skill test include okay student this video is common for all the post okay this computer proficiency test this is one skill test which is common for assistant udc jpa and steno okay for steno uh, there is additional stenography test will be there that i am not covering in this session okay but this computer proficiency test will be common for all these post okay so let's begin the session so the outline of today's session will be like this first i will tell you what is the scheme of this exam that is tier 2 exam skill test okay after that i will tell the procedure of the skill test how they will conduct okay what inputs they will give what is expected from you okay after that i will tell detailed indicate tips syllabus which is given in isro website as well okay that is also called computer proficiency test means how much proficient are you in computer okay you are how you are able to do the task using the computer okay that we will see and after that i will uh, give few sample questions uh, for your skill test and finally a few general tips okay so let's see the skill test scheme okay student the first thing you should know the maximum mark for the skill test is 100 marks it's a good amount okay and the time duration will be 60 minutes that is 1 hour so in 1 hour you need to uh, do the assignment what isro provide you okay and the negative marking since it is a skill test negative marking is not applicable at all then this cut off or passing criteria student there is a long debate for uh, written exam but here it is clear cut written that for unreserved it is 60 marks for reserve category it is 50 marks that is 50% of total that is 100 marks okay so in order to qualify this test you need to score minimum of 60 for unreserved and minimum of 50 for reserve categories okay this is important thing student okay shall we move ahead okay coming to the procedure of skill test let's see what uh, they are going to take so first uh, you will be given necessary directions from the invigilator okay he will give the instruction Uh, that what you should do what would be given okay it will be prior to the skill test that is the basic thing okay after that what they will give they will give some assignment sheet what is in this assignment sheet it is generally a paper or a4 sheet paper and uh, these sheets contain some content okay it can be data it can be some inform it can be some image it can be some mathematical equation okay that we are going to see in the uh, detail syllabus what they can expect from you okay so they will give you a sheet with some information written you have to replicate that in to the computer okay so next is the assignment task uh, that what i am talking about so you will be provided the sheet with some content so your assignment is to replicate the same in computer that is why it is called computer proficiency test right and what application you should use ms word powerpoint and excel these three software you should be proficient enough to replicate the same sheet what they have provided you okay this is the main uh, how much you are able to replicate uh, in the computer that will be the uh, score criteria okay then once your assignment starts your invigilator will start the timer of 1 hour that is a manual timer uh, okay like uh, just any exam you if you take 
after that uh, you have to save your assignment student in between you save your assignment because it, it, it is in computer base okay so save your tasks on the computer with the name or whatever the instruction given to you okay and finally your skill test that is computer proficiency test is over okay so the main uh, crux of this skill test is assignment tasks how much how much percentage you are able to replicate the content which is given in the assignment sheet you are able to make using ms word powerpoint and excel okay so your details labels will be in these three application i will cover in the upcoming slide okay so let's see the details labels so student take a screenshot of that you need to work you need to show your proficiency in these three application ms word this is ms word ms excel and ms powerpoint okay for ms word they have given 35 marks for ms excel 35 marks whereas for ms powerpoint it is 30 so total of 100 marks okay how many questions how many tasks that we don't know whatever they give they can give okay the other thing uh, in your mind should that what is the version okay is it uh, is it 2010 or it is 2014 version or it is recent version that is 2023 okay or is it 2016 okay so most of the application have the similar features just you need to familiar familiarize okay familiar is with these applications okay the basics of all these application remain the same for the different version don't worry about that just go through all the basic tasks which is given in the details labels okay so let's see the details labels for ms word which is of 35 marks the first one is a basic let's see opening and saving file that is very easy one then uh, since word is used for uh, editing the documents you should able to do everything cut copy paste undo redo find re search replace uh, i don't think so they will give you formatting page is important aspects along with setting margin okay because in sheet they give you some formatting uh, in that sheet okay so this is important how to set the margins and formatting okay then uh, after that uh you should be able to convert in different format importing and exporting okay they can ask also to print that that you should know okay so this is a syllabus for the basics portion the other uh second thing you can consider is formatting documents okay so different fonts style size colors might be given to you this typeface how to do it bold italic underline these are basic one if you have gone for any computer course at least you should know this formatting okay then special symbol is other thing they can ask then alignment yeah alignment indents that is also important okay then bullet and numbering is also important because they can give any content with bullet and numbering like uh, here i have given the numbering these are the bullets so similarly they can provide you for formatting the document okay then page style okay this is margin layout style okay these are basic microsoft word just uh, have a look on all these uh, uh, task and just try to replicate on your system okay the next one is table student this is very 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 important okay so they will give a table okay so they they can ask you to make like this table okay with some spanning okay okay you can uh, able to make the table uh, with the border alignment merging splitting that you should do okay they will not ask what is merging what is splitting for example if you i i ask you to make this complex table okay so you should be able to make that okay like like this okay like this some different uh, partition splitting and merging that you should know okay then inserting dipping picture this is very simple one okay 
then spell check mail merge mail merge is another a good topic okay these are some advanced topic uh, so if you have time you can have a look on that then printing documents uh, so they can also ask you to print the document after finalization okay so printing you should know coming to the excel excel uh, requires some knowledge because it is not straight forward okay so the basics like how to open close what are the interfaces what are the toolbars what are the formulas okay that you should at least know okay then working with spreadsheet like what are rows column how to refer shortcut keys is also important okay and the formulas formulas are also important okay i think it is in the next slide so get, let's go to the next so uh, your cell will be there in excel okay so excel you must have seen like this so how to enter that data that you should know okay highlighting the values a particular value you want to highlight how to do that then uh, inserting data rows inserting functions and manual okay so inserting function is also a good task okay and in all the excel this is important student okay finding total in column and using other formula okay for example i can ask you to write the formula for x plus y whole square in this table like this is x this is y so your sh output should come here okay or i can ask uh, to find the simple interest like p into r into t divided by 100 so this is p this is r this is t so your si should come here so likewise they can ask you okay then formatting again it is similar to word but here you need to do in the excel okay formatting is one of the major aspect of replicating the content given in the assignment sheet okay replicating then working uh, with sheet like consolidation subtitle these are advanced topics so if you have time you can look it at okay and then filtering sorting then creating chart okay so bar graph if if they ask to make a chart with the data that you should be able to do for example they will give a content with the table like some values in it so you need to make a graph or bar graph okay or even pie chart they can ask okay so that working with data you should know at least okay next one is the powerpoint so again the basic how to create a presentation what are the templates how to set background like uh, here i have used uh, the powerpoint okay how to set the style okay uh, adding text to presentation these are the basic one then formatting presentation is very important okay so adding styles how to add the object uh, adding uh, header and footer okay if they give you assignment sheet where footer there is suppose date or some uh, slide number is there that you should able to replicate okay then layout is another thing so instead of in horizontal layout if they given portrait layout that you should able to replicate so just all, learn all these uh, features of these three application then in powerpoint uh, one of the major thing is adding graphics like i have added this image so you should be able to add the picture right so we have seen uh, the syllabus for uh, computer proficiency test in word excel and powerpoint okay so let's see what could be the sample skill test questions okay so for ms word this is not the uh, original one okay this uh, you can take as a reference like replicate the paragraph so they can give you a paragraph with some formatting with some formatting okay like write about indian space or isro okay uh, so this content will be given okay you have to replicate the same in the computer using ms word then as i told you they can give you a table with some data okay so you need to draw that table onto the word okay it can be simple table or the complex table you should able to do that then insert a mathematical equation like some formula binomial expansion like if you if i ask you to 
or write the formula of x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy you should able to write in the uh, word okay or otherwise if i take the integration integration of x square dx is equal to uh, say x square plus some constant c like these equation you can take this is not the correct uh, integration okay leave it but the still what my point is to you should be able to use the mathematical equation okay let me clear the screen okay after that in ms excel uh, definitely they will give some equations okay so you need to find the compound interest so you should know the formula okay and to sort the rows that is again another and this is very important they can ask you to create bar chart line chart okay with given value and appropriate label and title for example they can give you a line chart with label x and y with proper legend with proper title that you should able to do okay in powerpoint they can give you three to five slide like uh, whatever the bar chart you have prepared you have to uh, prepare in powerpoint as well okay insert some figure with the smart chart and labeling type a paragraph uh, and align it okay with coloring that they can give you okay with uh, for example here i have used the orange color the same color you need to do here it is green so a green color you should able to use how did i the, uh, do this there are multiple ways so how you can do that you should be smart enough to make and replicate in the computer system okay so general tips these are very important uh, first thing is be mindful of time don't spend too much time in uh, doing the same thing okay you have to do the task in one hour that is the important aspect and since uh, in excel uh, they will disable the auto prediction and formula bar this is very 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 important okay so you should know the formulas you should know basic formulas okay like if you use excel if you type like su so some will automatically come okay so but there they will disable the auto prediction and formula so you have to focus on the manual entry of the formula in excel and uh, ensure the precision in replicating the more the precision the more chances you will have more marks as compared to the other candidate okay replicating from wire paper to computer that is uh, the thing okay so uh, this is it student so we have uh, already uh, given videos on safe score cutoff analysis the rectified one and the queries and when will be the result declared okay i hope uh, i have given some insight of the skill test okay so if you have anything to say you can write in comment box and uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day